Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another video. I survived my week out in Cancun for my birthday. I came back slightly darker as well as a year wiser. But time for the next video. I know you guys have been waiting for this one. Before we get to that, I want to talk about the giveaway for me reaching 20,000 subscribers. Check your social media. By the time this video goes live, the winner has been announced. So make sure you check to see if you've won, if you have, Congrats. If not, don't worry. I've got something special for Christmas that's in a couple days. But getting to this video, this has been much requested on social media. It is the top smartphone as well as smartwatch combination. As Apple hasn't released their iWatch, we're waiting to see what they say in 2015. It's all about Android. So here we've got the Moto X 2014 as well as the Moto 360. Currently, my two favorite devices paired together will take a look at what makes these so special. As you know, both of these devices are made in-house at Motorola, which means that they should theoretically be able to work together. First off, we've got the Moto 360, the first generation smartwatch, and probably the best first gen smartwatch currently out on the market. You can see on the back, it does have the wireless charging ports, and indeed, inside of the box, it comes with a little cradle, Plug that in via micro USB and you are charging your Moto 360. Heavy day usage, you might get a full day. Light to medium usage, maybe two days before you get another charge. The bands are made out of a nice soft supple leather available in two different colors I believe, both black as well as grey. You can also swap out the band for a metal band found on the Pebble Steel if that's more of your look. Comparing this to a traditional watch which you see on the right, Comes down to personal preference, but remember, you can always change the face of the Moto 360. And of course, other than receiving notifications on your 360 that you usually get on your phone, for example, you get a text message, an email, or a tweet, you can see that on your 360, pull down the notification, and even choose to have a quick reply. The 360 also comes with a bunch of different features. It also has a built-in pedometer, so it will track your steps or whenever you work out. And once you check that out on the corresponding app on your Moto X, you can see things in a bit more detail and even track your progress over time. One of my favorite combination features is actually the security function. And I really like having a security password or a security pattern on my Android devices. Make sure no one's snooping through my phone or in case I lose it, no one can really use it. But I can save a bit of time if I've linked my Moto 360 to my device as it acts as a trusted device. If it's in the near vicinity or if it's on my wrist, I no longer require a password. But the moment that my 360 isn't on my wrist or out of the area, once again, it does require a password to unlock. And the last combination feature which I definitely use the most is the turn-by-turn -turn GPS display. Whenever I'm driving, it's kind of dangerous to always look at my phone, but now it just displays on my Moto 360, on my wrist when my hand is on the wheel, it'll tell me where to turn, how many meters left, and when my final destination is. Super handy feature. So let me know what you guys think of this smartphone slash smartwatch combination. Are you guys totally sold, or are you waiting to see what Apple has to bring to the market? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did. I've got something really special planned for Christmas. If you guys want, leave a comment down below on what you might want to see for maybe a Christmas giveaway. It's a big hint. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope everyone is enjoying their holiday season. I definitely am. Gonna be in the studio working on upgrades. I think I'm gonna paint everything. CES coming up in 2015. So much going on, so make sure you are subscribed so you get all the videos when they come out to your feed, and I'll catch the rest of you in my next episode. Peace.